Hi guys, today I want to talk about a shot that can really help you in certain situations in frames of pool, a shot I think it's really important for everyone to really have in their armory, and it's the drag shot. The drag, drag shot in certain situations, it can really help you. It's a shot you can play more positively than you would have to if you were just playing a roll shot. So let me explain it for you. Let's say you're in this situation here, got a final red on the table and the eight ball on the bottom cushion. We know that we want to just drop this red in and leave the, the cue ball somewhere in this area here so we've got a nice simple eight ball to the corner. Problem is, we've got quite a bit of angle on this shot, so if we play this with any sort of pace whatsoever, the cue ball's gonna come away from the eight ball. If we manipulate it with some spin, we could screw it, we're gonna have to be hitting it so firm, the cue ball's gonna go close to the eight ball, or we try and, it's just not a good shot to do anything other than just drop it in. Problem with playing the drop-in shot, we have to hit the shot so slowly so that the cue ball doesn't run away from us. If we hit this with any positivity at all, the cue ball could easily get away from us. So, if we're playing the roll shot, we'd have to hit the ball really, really slowly. Now the problem with rolling the ball and playing it slowly is you end up playing the shot without much positivity. So you actually end up having to hit the ball really softly and therefore you're not being positive through the ball. So you can actually miss strike the cue ball quite a bit. You're almost decelerating on the shot because you're worried about hitting the ball too hard at times as well. So it's a shot that the cue ball can easily be misstruck and therefore you don't quite get the contact on the red that you want. You could end up missing the pot and looking a little bit silly. The other thing that can happen when you play the ball really, really slowly is you have to put a lot of trust in the table. You know, the ball has to run straight if it goes across finger marks, if it goes, if the, there's any, the table's not level at all, then the slower you play it, the more it's gonna accentuate the, the, the movement of the cue ball and you could end up missing the pot just by the table. It's one of the things that's definitely you want to, don't wanna to put too much trust into tables, although I'm fortunate enough to play on a, a very, very true table here, one of the, the black ball tables. So there is a better way of doing it. And that better way of doing it is playing it as a drag shot. And the drag shot is a shot that we're gonna hit like a screw shot. We're gonna hit it a little bit firmer than we would if we were just rolling it, but we're gonna hit right at the bottom of the ball. So we're gonna lower our bridge as we would with a screw shot, keeping our cue nice and level. And then we come to the bottom of the ball and we're gonna hit through the ball nicely. So we're gonna generate backspin on the cue ball. So then what's gonna happen is the cue ball's gonna travel down the table. It's gonna get about halfway down the table and then the backspin's gonna come off the ball and it's just gonna start rolling nicely and we're gonna end up potting the ball into the corner and the cue ball will just die nicely on towards the bottom cushion. So let me show you both ways of playing. Let me just show you the roll shot to, so I can show you the difference between the two. So hopefully I'll try and still pot this one, but it might not go well because as everything I just talked about. So I have to play this slowly. Okay, not too bad on this occasion. Rolled through and I still got the desired result, but it's a shot that, as I said, can go wrong. So let me try it another way around. I'm gonna try it with a yellow now. Lazy, can't be bothered to walk around the table, get the cue ball back. And now we're gonna play the shot as a drag shot, which means I can hit the ball a lot firmer, I can get through the ball, but watch the ball, it's gonna to get to about here, and it's just gonna stop having backspin, and it's just gonna roll from there, and I should still make the shot nice and comfortably, and I can play it more positively because of it. See how I was able to hit that shot quite a bit firmer. It's still not a powerful shot, still not a shot I hit hard, but it's a shot that I can hit more powerfully or more firm and more positively, positively than you can if you're just rolling it. So I'm really getting through the ball nicely. And you can see there, the, the, the spin actually came off the ball nice and earlier. It came off the ball about here, actually. I would have rather it came off a little bit later, but it, it was fine. It, it did what I wanted it to do, played it positively. The spin came off the ball. Cue ball ended up rolling and I've dropped in and I've got a really nice eight ball to the corner now and an almost unmissable one. So because of the way I played that one, it was never gonna get away from me. Drag shot is definitely something that's worth putting some time into, definitely worth spending time trying to work on it. It's a shot that can help you in all sorts of situations. This, this is just one version of. Uh, so definitely give this one a go, guys. Give it, some, uh, give it some time, give it some practice. It will really help you in the long run. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, give this one a go, as I say. Let me know how you get on. I always love to hear from you all. Let me know if this is a shot you know. If it's not, is it a shot that's helped you? And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more content to come on the way. We've got uh, ramping up the amount, number of videos I'm doing over the next couple of months. So a lot more coming over the next few months. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.